Oh, hey, good morning. How we doing? <clears throat> what day is it again? It's April Fools! Oh, right. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, welcome to Ask the Author Friday, April Fools Day edition. Um, we're gonna have some fun today. Let's get on with a couple questions. Again, these questions were all submitted by me. Um, if you have any questions for next week, feel free to submit them under the video. If you want to see more of this content, feel free to. If you want to see more of this content, feel free to subscribe. All right, here we go. Worst April Fool's joke ever. Look out the window, Michigan. It's April 1st and it's snowing. Hardy har har. April 2016. It snowed every day that first week of April. That's a bad joke right there. No, I'm, I don't really believe in April Fool's pranks or April Fool's jokes or things like that. But a good April Fool's joke is asking what day it is and going, It's April Fool's! Or what month it is, excuse me. What month it is and going in pretty close to Mr. T's voice. Next question. The worst book that I've read recently. Oh boy. Worst book I've read recently. Yeah. I have been reading some bangers recently. Some bad ones recently. Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. I mean, it was all over the map. It seemed extremely convoluted. Never knowing when the next next transition between stories was going to be. Uh, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I can't even remember what it was about. Uh, just that I didn't much care for it. Uh, A2 Bait by Mark Lehner. I wanted to enjoy it. It was recommended to me by a friend who's pretty important to me, but I just couldn't get into it. It just wasn't for me. Alright. Next question. What futuristic invention would you find most Would you find most necessary today? All throughout growing up, I, th I thought we'd have Jetsons cars by now. That'd be pretty awesome. You know those pot things? A lightsaber might be pretty cool too, but it. But I'd have to be a Jedi to use it. Um, what would be most necessary this week? A live-in clone to send into work when I'm obviously not feeling quite well, but still need to make some money. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, uh clone to send into work or to the more mundane events so that I can preserve myself for the fun events. So I'd probably have to send him to the fun events and live vicariously through him this week. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, this is me feeling a lot better. 
This is me with just a scratchy throat and uh, sinus congestion hanging on till the bitter end. So I sound ten times worse than I am now. Next question. What song, movie, or movie character reminds you of your your spouse, your partner, or your current crush? Seriously, who keeps writing all of... Oh, right. Uh, I cannot pin down a movie or TV character that reminds me of my current crush. What movie reminds me of what I'm of what I'm constantly going through. Hitch. Hitch. Albert Brenneman is my spirit animal. I mean, he, I mean, he's constantly pining for, uh, I don't think it's Miranda Cole. I think that's from Sex and the City. Uh, Amanda Cole or something like that. No, it might be Miranda. Anyway. Anyway, she doesn't see herself as perfect, but she's perfect for him. And, um... He's constantly in this space where... He wants her to be happy, even if it's never going to be with him. Yep. Hello, current crush. Uh, what if... Uh, music. Music. A lot of times, internally, I, I can hear um, the instrumental portion to Ario Speedwagon's Can't Fight This Feeling with a lot of... of the current fancies. Uh, modern. For the, the modern crush that I'm kind of pining after, I kind of hear, I kind of internally hear Hold You Tonight by Chris Lane and Gryphon. That's, yeah. Anyway, next. Why did you get sl why did you get slapped at the Oscars? Oh boy. Uh What behavior warranted the uh, my Oscars slap? Okay, let's read this question one more time. We'll start with that. We'll start with how much that question was phrased in the first place. Uh Another issue is I have been all over the map about about my opinion on that ma on the altercation between Will Smith and Chris Rock. Initially, when Chris Rock made that joke, I was thinking, okay, maybe Jada Pinkett Smith has cancer. Still, you don't walk up on stage and slap the guy. You wait until it's a commercial break. You take him aside and you answer words with words. He was a comedian. It was a joke. That being said, the the facts that Will Smith was ready to to defend Jada, even from words, was relationship goals. Especially after Jada made it pretty public the way she treats Will. And he would have still defended her. Anyway. Then I saw the footage. Will Smith was initially laughing right along with everyone else in the hall. Right up until he got side-eyed. Then he, um, then he took matters into his own hands. 
It would have been one thing to simply yell from his chair to... Uh, how, how should I put this? Not take Jada Pinkett Smith's name in vain. There you go. There you go. No, he mounted that stage. He was ready to, to to smack someone right there on camera. That was not a good look. No. Not a good look, and it was in a in, and you could say he was caught in a bad moment, but again, First of all, he initially was laughing right along with everyone else in the hall. Secondly, 15 minutes later, he was getting a standing ovation because he was the best, asker, best actor winner. And right after the... To wait, he started apologizing to, to the committee, to his fellow celebrities, to his wife, to his family... To everyone except Chris. And then, shortly thereafter, he was at an Oscar party where he proceeded to dance along with and rap to his own music. 12, 24 hours later, Chris got the apology for, for the altercation. I mean... Yeah. And for and for how scatterbrained my opinion has been on this all week, yeah, I, I'd be next in line to get the slap. That plus I'm probably the one person who's weaker and and wimpier than Chris Rock and could probably not and probably has more of a glass jaw than Chris ah boy so, I mean so, so many reasons for the Oscar slap to happen to me Maybe I showed up feeling like, well, like this, because it was still Oscar night. <laughs> <coughs> okay, like that, probably, because it was still Oscar night. Maybe I wore the wrong outfit. Maybe I asked the wrong person the wrong questions. Why would I be at the Oscars in the first place? There you go. Ah, uh, this. This has been Ask the Author Friday. Thanks for joining me this week again. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions for next week, feel free to submit them below the video. And if you enjoy, if you enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Thanks again.